Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So tomorrow I leave for Europe, um, two weeks. Uh, part of that will be on a cruise. Uh, very excited about that. We're going to Italy, Greece, and Turkey, which will be a lot of fun. But of all the times for me to be without regular internet access, right? Because I'm kind of interested to see how this um, Republican plan of shock and awe will play out. Uh, because I'm truly in shock and awe about the stupidity that has taken hold of the Republican Party. Um, last time I checked, we have a system of governance that says we pass laws by majority rule and then we follow them. We don't hold the government hostage and we don't try to sabotage the, uh, the, the current administration to the point of changing those laws. Um, this is absolute idiocy. Uh, and it's one thing to have the government shut down. That's happened before. Uh, we'll get through that. Now the Republicans are doing something that's even more dangerous. They're actually playing with the possibility of the United States defaulting on its debt. And some of these idiots have gotten on TV and said, well, it might not be so bad. Um, I have no clue what the hell is going on with these people. Um, they obviously have no respect for our system of governance. Uh, this, the, in case they didn't know, the Affordable Health Care Act was passed by the House, the Senate, and upheld by the Supreme Court. Now, if that's not good enough for them, perhaps they should run on a platform that will garner them enough votes that they can actually win an election and overturn the law and go through the proper channels to do that. But to hold an entire country uh, hostage economically and, and risk creating chaos uh, in the financial world around the globe to basically be spiteful towards one person, which is President Obama, is absolute lunacy. Uh, it, it's no secret that the Republican Party has basically said, you know, they said it from the, the, the first time he was elected. Their goal was to make sure he was a one-term president. They did everything they possibly could to sabotage the government to keep him from succeeding. Well, I have news for you, Republicans. He wasn't a one-term president. He won. He very handily beat Mitt Romney. Um, the country, the majority of the country is in support of him. Uh, you all do not have the right to risk the economic health of our country to prove a point. Uh, I think the political extremists that have taken hold of the Tea Party are one of the most dangerous groups to come along in our country's history. Um, you know, to, to borrow a line from, uh, you know, I, I, I think President Obama should actually borrow a line from President George Bush and say we don't negotiate with terrorists <clears throat> because that's exactly what these people are. They are political saboteurs and they are political terrorists. Uh, they are holding our economy hostage to get what they want, to overturn a law that has been passed by majority rule, upheld by the Supreme Court. These people are absurd. Can you imagine what would have happened had the Democrats done something like this while George Bush was in office? If they said, oh, we don't approve of the Bush tax cuts, we don't approve of the, the, the war in the Middle East. So we're going to basically shut down the entire government and then put the, nation's, uh, uh, put the nation on the path to default and, and crashing our economy until the tax cuts are repealed and the uh, war in Afghanistan and Iraq is ended. No, they didn't do that. The Democrats did not hold our country hostage. What they did was they actually ran on a platform that got them elected in 2008. The wars are winding down in the Middle East. The tax cuts have been repealed. You Republicans, that is what governance in this country uh, should be like. And I'm, I'm very interested to see, uh, you know, how this will play out. And I certainly hope that um, by the time I get back to the U.S., our country is in a, is in a, a reasonably healthy state economically because it would not surprise me if the idiots in the Republican Party push us to the brink of a depression. 
all on the grounds of sabotaging President Obama. I mean, this is, this is true lunacy. Uh, and something tells me, uh, there's probably quite a few Republicans who watch my YouTube channel and, and blog. So I hope if you guys watch this, please don't allow yourselves to be held hostage by the extremists in the Tea Party. I think most people in the Republican Party are smart enough to realize this is not the way to go about doing it. Um, they're, they're being absolutely insane to appease just a tiny fraction of the country. These ideologues and extremists in the, in the uh, Tea Party. This is very dangerous, people. Um, I certainly hope uh, everyone is sending emails and tweets and uh, Facebook messages to their representatives and their senators uh, because this is something that should should not be allowed. Anyway guys, I hope you have a uh, great day and I'm super excited to get to Europe so I'll see you when I get back. Thanks guys.